people are amazed when they hear these old pianos. And I say, well, this is what everybody used to have in their house. The average piano had a very, very nice sound. My name is Wally Stock. I tune and repair and restore pianos. I've been doing this for over 40 years now. We work on all types of pianos, acoustic pianos, grand and square and uprights. This was the railroad depot in Brainerd, New York. Right here, you could step right off, right onto the train here. The main track ran where these buildings are. This was freight as well as passenger service. The railroad was the Lebanon Springs Railroad. Uh, started in 1851. People would take the uh, railroad from Chatham, New York, up to Lebanon Springs, where there was a hot spring. We bought the place in 85 and uh, started work on it as just a piano business. We finished it off and moved our business in here when we decided we were gonna live in the other, other side. So this is, the, uh, this is the shop. This particular piano is an excellent quality piano. Um, the only fault being that the angle of the bridge graining was such that they did split regularly. I started out as a kid um, playing the piano. My father didn't really want to pay to get the piano tuned. And he had it tuned once, and it was so glorious to me to have that thing tuned. But it didn't hold very well. And uh, it was an old upright. And so I just couldn't stand it anymore. So I borrowed um, a friend's tools to tune pianos. And I started to experiment with it. I got it up to pitch and tuned it. And then I just practiced tuning and practiced tuning and practiced tuning until I had it. It was down in a basement full of water. Water leaked on it. And it was a basket case. And I thought, well, this will be a challenge. Let's do this thing. This is a square piano. That's what they call a square piano. Some people call them square grands, but they're actually known as a square piano. They were invented by Federici in Saxony in 1750. And they're mirrored after the uh, early clavichord. This particular one was built in 1885. And uh, it's a full seven and a quarter octaves, 88 keys. On square pianos from the 1850s and 60s forward, the damper levers are on top and come down on the strings from the top. They are the things that keep the uh, strings from vibrating when you release the key. I rebuilt it 21 years ago and never looked back. It's held its tune beautifully. I play it every day. Uh, it's in constant use. We're only in a generation just now that not everybody has pianos. But for, you know, since pianos were invented, I mean, they, they spread like wildfire. And, and so many people have memories of, of pianos and a lot of fond memories. I really enjoy it. And I like, I like doing piano work. I'm in the shop now, I think, uh, most of the time uh, doing restorations. When it's all done and all the work is done and everything has been figured out and it's all put back together and that piano works beautifully uh, or the clock or Victrola, whatever I happen to be working on, it's so satisfying to see that thing back the way it used to be and working the way it ought to work.